morning, the plane took off as planned from um, Kunming. That's a provincial capital in the south of China. And uh, there were 132 uh, people in, uh, on board, including the crew. Um, it reached a height of uh, more than 8,800 meter. And then just um, 300 to 400 kilometers before it reached the destination, the airplane dropped. I mean, it lost height very rapidly. Um, we know that from uh, surveillance camera videos, it was basically like a stone uh, falling um, uh, through the earth, I mean, basically vertically. And um, that's also in line with what eyewitnesses um, told uh, local media. And they described that there was not a visible sign um, um, to re recognizable why the plane was crashing. I mean, there was no smoke at the beginning, no fire. But then when the plane crashed in this mountainous area, um, it caused a forest fire. And when um, the rescue people and also local villagers um, reached the, the site of the um, traffic accident, of, of the car, uh, plane crash, sorry, um, there was not really much left, um, um, just basically destruction. So um, it's really a very sad day. And also it's the biggest plane crash uh, in at least uh, almost 12 years. I mean, the last deadly big plane crash was in 2010. And Fabian, given that, as you were saying, this plane lost altitude in a matter of minutes and came down so quickly and crashed along a mountainside, do we know if, if anyone survived this crash? No, we don't know. Um, and um, so far, the authorities have been quite cautious in giving out information. And we know a lot of details also about the um, uh, uh, machine itself. It was a Boeing uh, 737, uh, almost seven years old, etc. But we don't know exactly um, if there are any uh, survivors. Um, I'm speculating here, but I mean, I saw a lot of um, pictures from the site and um, I think the hopes should not be too high because, um, um, yeah, it, it looked really um, like a very big, horrible tra tragedy. And um, yeah, so I, I don't expect that there will be survivors. However, the authorities have not confirmed anything and they're really very cautious so far. Also, um, they did not explain a possible reason because um, even though there are more than 1000 people on the rescue mission, they have not found yet a black box. Okay. Thank you very much for that, Fabian. Fabian Kasma reporting there for us from Beijing.